Hi there, my name's Andrew, I'm one of the final year medical students. Could I just check your name and date of birth, please? Yeah, James Alexander, 13th of December 1989. Nice to meet you, James. Today I've been asked to examine your abdomen. This will involve looking from the end of the bed, feeling various areas of the abdomen, and then listening at the end. Would that be okay? That sounds fine. Brilliant. Have you any pain anywhere at all? No. And have you got any questions about the exam? No, not that I can think of. Okay. Okay, James, we can start the exam now, and I'm just going to start by having a look from the end of the bed. James, I'd like to start by looking at your hands. If you could just bring them up in front of you, please. And if you could turn them over. Fantastic. And if you could bring two fingernails together like this for me. Brilliant, you can relax. James, if you could now bring your hands out in front of you and cock your wrist back and keep it there. And relax. If you could just lift your right arm up for me. And your left arm. That's fine. James, I'm now gonna have a look at your face and eyes. If you could just look straight ahead for me. And I'm now going to pull down on your lower eyelid. And just look down for me. And if you could just open your mouth for me. And lift your tongue to the roof of the mouth. That's great. James, if you could now sit forward for me, and I'd like to examine for any glands in the neck. I'd now like to more closely inspect the chest. James, we're going to move on to more closely examining your tummy now. Uh, for this, I'll need you in a flat position, so I'm just going to lower the bed. If you could just sit up for me. And you can lie back. Now, if you could just put your hands down by your side, I'm just going to more closely inspect your tummy. I'd now like to move on to feel different areas of the tummy. Can I just check before I do that you don't have any pain at all? No, I don't. James, I now need to press a little harder. James, could you now take some deep breaths in and out for me?
Jim's are now going to tap on your tummy. If you could roll onto your right hand side for me, James. And roll back. And I'm just going to listen to your tummy. James, that completes the examination. Thank you very much, you can now get dressed. In summary, I performed an abdominal exam on James, a 27 year old male. James had no peripheral stigmata of gastrointestinal disease. His abdomen was soft and non-tender with no masses or organomegaly. On auscultation, he had normal bowel sounds. This was a normal abdominal exam. To complete the exam, I would like to examine the hernial orifices and also do a digital rectal exam and examination of the external genitalia if indicated. Hi, I'm Simon, one of the final year medical students. Can I just check your name and date of birth, please? Hi there, it's John Thomas. My date of birth is the 5th of the 9th, 1988. Okay, nice to meet you. And are you happy for me to call you John? Yes, that's fine. Grand. Today I need to examine your back passage. That means I need to have a look and feel inside with my finger. It might be a little bit uncomfortable, but it won't last very long. And if you feel uncomfortable at any point, we can stop if you like. Are you happy to proceed, John? Yes, that sounds fine. OK, I'll go and get a chaperone. And in the meantime, if you could pull down your underwear and your trousers and then lie with a sheet covering you facing the wall on your side. Does that sound OK? Yes, that's OK. Thank you. Okay, John, if you could pull your knees up to your chest for me, that would be great. I'm just going to pull up the sheets now and have a look, all right? And if you could just squeeze my finger now, please. That's fine, relax. 
I'm just going to pull it out now, okay. Let me just wipe away that gel as well. Okay, John, that's the end of the examination. I'll let you get dressed again. For completeness, I would perform a full abdominal examination. I would also consider any further investigations as appropriate.